people make a lot of noise. Father God, we love you, Lord, and we just come tonight, Father God, just thanking you and praising you for this day, Lord, Father, for waking us up this morning, Lord, Father God, and just watching over us and keeping us safe, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that we have a place to come to to worship you and to praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, Father, that we can come together with our brothers and sisters, Lord, Father, that we are one body, Father God, that we are united together, Father God, and we thank you for it tonight, Lord. Lord Father. We thank you, Father God, for our pastor. We thank you for Pastor Mark and Sister Jackie, Lord. And we just pray for them tonight, Lord. We hold them up to you, Father God, that you would just, Father God, just bless them, Father God. And Father, we pray for the heavy spirit to leave here, Father God, that we will rejoice and be happy in you, Father God. It doesn't matter, Lord, Father, that, that the church is not full, because we know, Father God, that where you are, there is liberty, and there is peace and joy and love. And that's what we're seeking, Father God. We seeking you father God so we thank you for it Lord and we ask for your uh, your presence Lord just to fill this place tonight Lord just rain down on us Lord father fill our hearts Lord fill our minds Lord even open our eyes and ears father God that we see you in everything father God and Lord we just ask that your anointing father God just rest on the praise team tonight Lord let the praises go up to you father God let it put a smile on your face Lord father God and father we ask that you just every need Father God and we just thank you Father God and we praise you we glorify you we give you all the honor Father God because we love you in Jesus name Amen, Amen.
it's been so good. Yes. So good. Yes. I know not just to me. I know. But I just thank him every day. I just thank him. Because he brought me a long way. Never thought I'd be leading. It shocked me. <laughs>
We worship you, mighty God. We worship you, mighty God. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, mighty God. We worship you, God.
Didn't they do a good job? Yes. <coughs> These guys are getting good, man. It's Danny's turn next Thursday. You guys know how many people show up on Thursdays? I'm going to keep it teaching. I'm not going to change it. Right. <clears throat> wow. No kidding. Well, Sundays is good, but I mean, but Thursdays is just. Praise the Lord. Hey, you guys don't laugh at me. I got these goofy glasses. I left my glasses at home again, Margaret. <coughs> you got glasses? You brought them with you? Oh, Lord. <coughs> Margaret, they could be anywhere. <coughs> oh, is them glasses? Those there. <coughs> Those there. <coughs> Here, you want the safety pin? <coughs> you guys do feel safe in here on Thursday, don't you? Trust me, you're safe. <coughs> well, before I get doing this teaching here, let me ask you a question. Have you heard on television or the radio who just got put over the military? Put over the military. Anybody? A transvestite. All over all them men. Choke that one down, brother. <coughs> well, this ain't no movie. <coughs> okay. Now, a couple, few of these scriptures here. I'm just going to shoot these out here. I, I'm going to give you three scriptures. It has nothing to do with what I'm going to talk about, but I just want to give you these scriptures. Proverbs 29 and 2. <clears throat> Some of you might have read this. Proverbs 29 and 2, I'm not sure. <clears throat> when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. 11.10. <clears throat> Proverbs 11.10. <clears throat> when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perish, there is shouting. The what? Shouting. Proverbs 28 and 1. That's either 28 and 1 or 28 and 14. <laughs> Let's try 28 and 1. The <clears throat> wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. No, it must be 18. I thought you said 14. It must be 28, 14, I mean. Happy is the man that feareth always, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. Try 18. <laughs> <coughs> My writing, I tell you. <coughs> Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. It might not even be Proverbs. <coughs> okay, let's start Genesis chapter 1. It might, I mean, it could be any. <laughs> Yeah, Genesis, Genesis chapter 1. Verses 1 and 2. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. It's... 
it could have been translated or was just hovering. You know, I've seen the Spirit hover in here. <clears throat> just hover. So it says, the Spirit of the Lord was moving over the surface of the water. Then God said, let there be light. So here, the Spirit of the Lord moves and then the word came. Look at that. Verse 3. Verse 3. And God said, let there be light. And then the word came. Then God said, after the Spirit was hovering around. <clears throat> See, it's very important to keep the Spirit of the Lord in here. So things can take place. <clears throat> so anyways, um, here we are. That's in Genesis 1 and 2. Now I want to go over to John 7, 37. I want you to say this with me. John 7, 37. <clears throat> In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let I'm him... I'm thirsty. Say, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I want to get so thirsty, it's, I can't be quenched. <clears throat> okay. Now, God moves at certain times, and he does things that are kind of strange, and we don't understand them all the time. So I'm going to read a couple scriptures before I get started. Romans 8, 26, 27, and 28. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. <clears throat> so without him, we don't know left from right. Not in the spirit, you don't. You might in the natural, but without the Holy Spirit, we don't know left from right. Romans 8, 11. <laughs> These glasses are goofier than the ones I took out. <laughs> But the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Okay, so the <coughs> spirit helps us out here. He's going he's gonna to help us out. Help, he's going to help us get this message. And he wants to help us get through life, period. So in Matthew 6, 7, this is where we're going to start it. Matthew 6, 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think... Saying the same thing all the time. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Like uh, when they stood uh, in Kings, they, they kept calling, trying to call uh, Baal for us. They kept saying, oh, Baal, where you at? Oh, Baal. And they say it in a prayer. And they kept saying over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, the same thing over and over and over again. I guess you're supposed to pray and just let it drop. 6, 7. So he says, don't keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I don't want to hear it. So he says to us, pray the prayer of faith. We're going to walk into this message. So he says, pray the prayer of faith. And just leave it there. And believe that it's done. <clears throat> and I want to read that in Kings. 1 Kings 18, 26. <clears throat> 1 Kings 18, 26. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even till noon. That's where they kept noon. saying it. <coughs> they, they kept saying that over and over and over again. <coughs> saying, Baal, Baal, we, you know, answer us, answer us, answer us, answer us. And then verse 27. <coughs> and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. So finally he gets tired of hearing it. Remember, he's filled with the power of God. He's filled. He's, it's on him. He has the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and said, cry aloud, for he is a God. Either he is talking or he he's is pursuing. He's laughing at him. He's making fun of him. <clears throat> is he asleep? <clears throat> Your God's sleeping? What's, he, what's going on with him? <clears throat> or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleepeth he even in and the must area? be awake. <clears throat> no, he's not even in the area. <clears throat> Keep going. 28? Yep. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets till the blood gushed out upon them. You know, they're do kids do that now. You know that? Mm -hmm. Think about that for a minute. Kids do that exact same thing right now. Right? Yeah. Okay, finish it. 
29? Yep. And it came to pass when midday was past that they prophesied until the time of the offer offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded. Keep going. 30. Keep going until I stop you. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the son of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bullock in pieces, and laid him on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water, and pour it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. You better be hearing from God to do something like that. <clears throat> you better be hearing from the Lord. And he said, Remember what I'm saying here. You, you have to hear from God when you do something like that because we're going to lead off into something else. Go. <clears throat> and he said, Do it a second time. And they Two did times it now. the second time. So, how many barrels? Four? Mm -hmm. Four barrels. Saturated the wood. <clears throat> Go. And he said, Do it a do third it. time. He said, Do it a third time. I want it really wet. And they did it the third time. And the water ran round about the altar and he he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear at me, thy oh, word. He said, I've done all this at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their so heart kind of back again. So he's kind of putting to the test. He knows he's going to do it. <clears throat> Go. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Read that verse again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. So, and when all No go ahead, finish that. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. So anytime you're dealing with God, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, some of those guys in the, old, in the 1800s, they had hit people and one of them kicked a baby off the stage. How many times did he do that? <clears throat> Man, you really got to be hearing from God, you guys. If you're doing anything like, anything, praying for somebody or anything, you got to really be hearing from God. Because <clears throat> it can backfire on you. If you're not hearing from God and the timing's not right. Timing is very important. Tell your neighbor, timing is very important. Say it again. Timing is very important. <clears throat> now, sh now this is why I want to show you this in Acts. Acts 16 and 6. Yeah, 16 and 6. Now when they had gone through Phrygia and the region of Galatia and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. Now I want you to look at this. Acts 16, 6. Paul was forbidden to preach in Asia. You, I'm, you, you're not going to get to preach in Asia. Kind of an interesting thing. But anyways, he stops him. And if I think in chapter 17, he ends up in prison. <clears throat> uh, so he didn't get to go to Asia to preach the word of God. Very important. Uh, he thought he was going to get to. You know, God, our timing's not God's timing. <clears throat> and God's always on time. Somebody say, God's always on time. <clears throat> say it again, God's always on time. <clears throat> so it, then we jump from chapter 16 to 6 where he was forbidden to go there, to preach there, to Acts 19, 1 and 2. And we're going to stay right there in Acts for 19 for a minute. Acts 9, 19, 1 and 2. <clears throat> 
And it came to pass that while, while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and now finding... Some of these names have changed. <coughs> these cities, he's heading into, he's going into Asia. One and two. finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since you believe? <coughs> now he's in there preaching now. And they said unto... Yeah, he's asked them. What, a, what an interesting question. Have you ever pondered that question? These guys are saved. And he says to them, have you heard about the Holy Spirit since you've been saved? No, we haven't heard of any Holy Spirit. Huh? <laughs> no, the, well, yeah, kind of. But they believe in the Holy Spirit. They just don't believe in the gift part of it. <clears throat> they don't like them gifts. <clears throat> Leave those gifts at the altar. <clears throat> Start at, start at one again. It, kind of read it slow a minute. Let's, let's think about this for a minute. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Since and they, you believe, have you received the Holy Spirit? And because the timing was right right here, if he would have pushed in chapter 16 and went to Asia, this whole chapter 19 wouldn't have happened. It would have been different. The outcome would have been totally different from 16 to chapter 19. Watch what happens. Because he listened and didn't push his way in. You can push your way into something and it's not timing's not right. <clears throat> Go. And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. We haven't heard anything about no Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized... You'll be with, reading for a minute, so keep going. Okay. John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Even with people, timing has to be right. If, people, if a person is ready to receive the Holy Spirit, that's all you got to do. You don't got to fight over them. If the timing's right, you ain't supposed to get saved before your time. You ain't supposed to receive the Holy Spirit. Well, you... It, your time, the timing's got to be right. Because <clears throat> he split him right here. In 16, if he'd have went, he'd have been, 19 would have never happened. There was, this was a great revival getting ready to break out right here. Because the timing was right. <clears throat> Go. And when Paul laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about 12. And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and See, persuading. See, revival breaking out. He laid hands on there, received the Holy Spirit. He's in there preaching for how many months? <clears throat> three months preaching, constantly preaching. There was times where they got, what was that, Peter fell asleep and almost... <clears throat> disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that wow. all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus. See, Asia. He's in Asia now. He got to preach in Asia. <clears throat> so revival broke out. God stops him in 16. He knew he was going to get to go to Asia. He thought that was it, but it wasn't. It wasn't until a time after. <clears throat> and then it broke out. Revival broke out. And we can miss. I know I've missed timing. I mean, it's easy to miss it. Especially if everything's going right. It's easy to miss timing. It's simple. It's real easy to miss it. Because he didn't, and he just did what God told him to do. He just kind of flowed into this great outpouring of the Holy Spirit in 19. Keep reading it. 
And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. See that? Because the time he was right. <clears throat> he went into Asia when the time was right. Yeah. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Then certain from of the... From an anointed cloth. from an anointed cloth. I think probably these people are more thirsty than we are. I know they had a powerful anointing on them from the Lord. Whew, Jesus, mighty God. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. And there were seven sons of one Siva, a Jew, and chief of the priests which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in it whom... It looks easy. <clears throat> when ministers are ministering, it looks easy. That's what happened with these guys. They weren't ready for that. They were not ready for that. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also which used curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men. See that witchcraft man. Just cause he, he, the timing was right. And he waited. He could have take, he could have probably taken off in 16, in Acts 16. Because God told him he was going to get to go to Asia. God tells you you're going to get to do something, you want to do it. And look what all this stuff happened. People got healed. Witches brought their books in and burned them. Just because of timing. His timing. Then they had a mighty outpouring in night, verse 19. Or in chapter 19. What an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Read a little bit more. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. All the finance. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. After these things were ended, Paul purposed in the spirit when he had passed through Macedonia. After all this had ended. All this had ended. Witches burnt their books. All this stuff had ended. Go. And Achaia to go to Jerusalem saying, after I have been there, I must also see Rome. Okay. So he Stop said. Right. That's right. Stop right there for a minute. <clears throat> so see, it's very important. Now I want to go back to Romans for a minute. Romans 8, 26. 27 and 28. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we weaknesses. know... Weaknesses. Infirmities and weaknesses. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit... And I don't know what to pray for. <coughs> unless the Holy Spirit's telling me. You know, in the scripture, just to, to, just to lay a scripture out here, it says, the Bible says, lay no hand, don't put your hands on people suddenly. It's, there, it's got to be the right timing. <clears throat> you know, them demons can come back seven times stronger. Has anybody in here ever smoked and quit? And then smoked and quit? <clears throat> and then smoked and quit? Did you, did you notice that the first time when you, you smoked 
and then you stopped and then you picked it up again it, it was stronger you, you had to smoke more did you notice that? I did too yeah, yeah those demons come back stronger <clears throat> a lot stronger so that Romans 8 26 27 and 28 goes right with this sticking in with him so you'll we'll get the timing right timing right like on a car the timing's off it don't run right if the timing's not right on a car all eight cylinders don't work right there's a miss or six cylinders a miss same here <clears throat> what a man of God and, and to think about that for a minute this guy Paul did a lot of miracles just in my own head I'm thinking what all those miracles he did and then have to wait to go do more that's something did you finish it? No. oh I'm sorry but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And then Romans 8:11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Thank you, Lord. 1826, Matthew 1826. Pick this up. Matthew 1826. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. I don't know why I put that down there. I have no idea. <clears throat> it might not even, that might not even be right the way I'm looking at it. Now, this, this here's what we're going to read, and we're going to close. Isaiah 53, and when you read through this, I want you to do it slowly, okay? <clears throat> Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a, gro out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. He paid a great price to get this timing right. <clears throat> Acts 2.24 Whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it paid a great price for us to get timing right. Just sit there. I just want you to sit there for a minute. And just lift your hands up. Close your eyes. I want you to just pray for a second. 
Pray that we, everyone in this room get the timing right. Timing right. Pray the music people get timing right. I get t the timing right. The right messages that the timing's right on them. Especially pray for that. That the messages have the right timing so the revival can break out with it. <clears throat> in people's lives. It's very important that timing is right. Timing is right. Just sit there, pray for a minute. Ask God that timing be right in your life too. Ask Him everything you do. Let the timing be right so it, ha it takes place right. Everything happens at the right time. <clears throat> at the right time. <clears throat> and we always talk about the timing of God. God's timing is not our timing, but the trick of it is, is knowing God's timing. Father, we just thank you tonight, Lord Father God, for your presence. Thank you for your presence that's in this room, this anointing, Lord Father God. We ask that you touch us, Lord Father God, that we would recognize, Father God, your timing, Lord Father God. No matter how bad we want it, Lord Father God, no matter the, the, our hearts, Lord Father, our mindsets, Lord Father God, that your timing, Lord Father God, be met. If we've missed your timing, Lord Father, in any area of our lives, Father God, show it to us so we can correct it, Lord Father, mighty God. I believe it can be corrected. I believe it can be corrected. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord Father God. Thank you, Father God, for your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Get our timing right, Father God. Our timing right, mighty God. Our timing right, just like Paul did, Lord Father. The mighty revival broke out from it because his timing was right. He didn't push and push. The timing was right, Father God. He listened to the Spirit. He prayed, Father God. And he listened to your Spirit, Lord Father. He listened to your unction, unction of the Holy Spirit inside of him. He heard your voice and he listened to it, Father God. Mighty God, mighty God. Glory. You said your word is yea and amen, Father God. Let the timing be right. Let the timing be right, Father God. See, something's getting ready to happen, guys, and we don't want to miss the timing of it. <clears throat> I can feel it in the Spirit. <clears throat> it's concerning the whole part of the ministry. We can't miss the timing of it. Mighty God. We don't want to miss the timing, Father God, of it. <clears throat> the timing of it, Father God. Jesus mighty name Father God do not want to miss your timing Lord Father <clears throat> thank you mighty God in any area of our lives the spirit Lord Father God is the greater it's greater than natural life Lord Father and we don't want to miss the spirit timing your timing Father God it's like Paul on the road to Damascus had it taken place the day before, the timing would have not been right. Because you put him in a place to receive, Lord Father God. A place where he could hear, Lord Father God, the timing was right for him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. And Peter, Lord Father God, the timing was right, Lord Father, for him to hear you, Lord God, after his denial, mighty God. Our timing has to be right. Our timing, the cross was, the timing of the cross was right. Our timing has to be right, mighty God. Father God, mighty God, Jesus, mighty name. Let your word, Lord Father, come forth in, the, in that right time, Lord Father. Penetrate our hearts and our minds. Those that I let speak, Lord Father, give them the right word. Give me the right word, Lord Father God. So our timing's right. Connect our timings together, Lord Father, so we can make one body, Lord Father, doing the right thing, mighty God. I feel this so strongly that all of our timing has to come together right now. All of our timing has to come together right now, Lord Father God. Jesus, mighty God. <clears throat> Jesus, mighty God. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh.
light to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, As you guys are praying, spend a little time praying for that military. <clears throat> if you don't already, I mean, I'll see you guys Sunday. Spend a little time praying for the military. <clears throat> That's un almost unbelievable, isn't it? 